Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jume. We all know the 3A and 4A state basketball tournaments taking over Casper Thursday through Saturday. But there's a state competition that'll be even louder at the Casper Event Center tomorrow, the State Spirit Competition. There's five categories, including all-girls cheer, co-ed cheer, game day, jazz dance, and hip-hop dance. And the Kelly Walsh dance team is attempting to win their 10th state title in a row. Tanya Cisneros has been the coach for 11 years and only didn't win it all her first season on the job. She told me this year is much more special because it would be Trojan dancer Aurora Roar's senior year. You probably remember Aurora passed away after a car accident just before the state competition two years ago. The team's wearing wings on their backs, so she'll still be dancing with her girls. These girls for 10 years have shown up at 545 every morning, Monday through Friday. Um, usually nine months out of the year and we work in the summer so it's just dedication and hard work. At the beginning of the year everyone always asks, hey you guys gonna win state, hey you gonna win state and I always leave it up to you know I'll let you know in March, I'll let you know in March because I do have that confidence in my team but I never want to you know like second guess that but it is it is a high standard that we hold ourselves to but I know that we all can accomplish it. And the Kelly Walsh co-ed cheerleading teams also got state title history. They won back-to-back -back state championships in 2016 and 2017. But last year, their coach left the team in the middle of the season, so they didn't even compete at states. This year, the Trojans have first-year head coach Lindsey Soar, and she told me they're ready to win it all again. I think everybody's excited, a little nervous and everything, because we're coming back after a year of not competing. But I think everybody is really excited, and I think it's going to go really, really good. If there's a mistake, we're all still here for each other. It's just like more of like accepting each other and just rocking it out like we know we can do. From girls hoping for a state title to a young man trying to get drafted into the NFL. The Wyoming Cowboys all-conference safety Andrew Wingard worked out at the NFL scouting combine just yesterday. We all know he's second all-time on the Wyoming tackles list and tied for the most tackles all-time in the Mountain West. Wingard impressed a lot of people with his drills yesterday. Dewey finished in the top 10 of all safeties in the vertical jump, 60-yard shuttle, and the three-cone drill. His 36-and-a-half-inch vertical could be the most impressive of those, although he didn't run a great 40-yard dash at 4.56 seconds. Wingard's projected as a late-round pick in the NFL draft on April 25th. And he's got a chance to improve his numbers at Wyoming's Pro Day on Thursday. And another poke making us proud is wrestler Branson Ashworth. He just earned the number one seed at 165 pounds for the Big 12 Championships this weekend in Oklahoma. Branson's ranked number eighth in the country at that weight. And he's got 30 wins this season for the third time in his career. The Cowboys won all 20 of his dual starts this season, and he knocked off an incredible nine top 20 opponents this year. Remember last year, Bryce Meredith and Archie Colgan became the first ever Big 12 champs from Wyoming. And now to the pros. Nuggets at the San Antonio Spurs last night, and in the fourth quarter, it was comeback time. Jamal Murray from the corner for three. The Nugs only down seven with two minutes left. 20 seconds later, it's Murray setting up Will the Thrill Barton, and he knocks down the three. Nuggets only down four now. Then less than a minute left, and we all know Jamal Murray loves the spotlight. Step back for three over Rudy Gay. He got it. Nuggets only down one. Same score now, less than 20 seconds left. Murray miss out of bounds. Refs review it. They say Nuggets ball. Then 2.4 seconds left. Same score. Gary Harris for the win. Off the rim. Nuggets only, almost come all the way back. But they lose 104-103. But good news for the Colorado Avalanche tonight, guys. They beat the Red Wings in overtime, 4-3, trying to get that last wild card spot. All right. It's a tough game. <laughs> it's true. It's always life. Yeah, got to learn them. Got to learn those lessons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back after the break.